they might look cute and cuddly, but when they're on the job, officers consider their level of force between a taser and a gun. A police dog left a 13-year-old boy in hospital last year needing surgery for severe injuries to his face and arm. Police said he was injured while officers were looking for a group of people causing disturbances and was later given a juvenile caution. It's one of multiple incidents the Corruption and Crime Commissioner is concerned about. We are people who are content to unleash dogs on children. I think we're better than that. John McKechnie using his opening remarks to a parliamentary committee to question how police dogs are deployed. The present policies are not racist in intent, but are racist in effect. Many dog de deployments are against young and or Indigenous persons. He wants policies changed, but the police minister says that's not needed. People are only apprehended by police dogs if they've failed to stop when they've been given a warning and they continue to represent a threat. So I support police dogs and the use of police dogs under our current policy. Um, police dogs stop crime. The opposition labelling the commissioner's comments a stretch. WA police need to be supported. If you do the wrong thing, uh, you will face the force of the law. WA Police didn't provide figures when asked today, but a Triple C report last year found in about 61% of cases where police dogs are deployed, they're targeted at Aboriginal people, a rate far higher than the proportion of First Nations people in WA's prisons. Police say they continue to work closely with the Triple C and policies are reviewed as part of normal duties. Ken Burke, ABC News.